Stan Jibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations. I thought of an idea for taking a dipole antenna and turning it into an end loaded random wire antenna. Now, this is just your basic dipole antenna, one half wavelength long, fed at the center with a two-wire transmission line. Now, generally, this is a either a parallel wire line or a coaxial cable with a ballon coil, preferably. But in either case, it has two conductors. In order to get an end-fed random wire out of this, or rather, I should say, end-loaded random wire, all you do is short-circuit the two conductors at the radio end of the wire. Then you use that as a, a random wire antenna, that single point. You probably won't be able to connect this directly to the radio any longer because it's no longer one, uh, no longer the proper impedance if you used coaxial cable. But if you used parallel line, you already have a transmatch. You would use the unbalanced output of that transmatch or short circuit one of the balanced output terminals to ground to get an unbalanced output. In any case, you have now a random wire antenna. But the end of that, at the end of the antenna, it points and spreads off in two different directions. Now this half wavelength here will contribute to the radiation and will alter the radiation pattern of your random wire. But obviously this system will work best if the feed line is at least a quarter of a wavelength long, but it doesn't have to be any particular length. Uh, if it's the, but the longer the better because then the longer you'll have a longer uh, radiating part of the antenna main part of the antenna but then of course the end loading becomes less and less significant but it's an end loaded random wire that you can you can more or less you already have if you have a dipole antenna. Suppose you have a dipole antenna like this and you want uh, a random wire but you don't have the energy or wherewithal or physical space or desire to go ahead and bother with it and uh, so you just do this. You short circuit the two conductors connect them to the output of the transmatch if you don't already have one as uh, an unbalanced antenna rather than a balanced antenna and then turn the transmitter on tune it up and start communicating and hoping for the best Stan Jibalisco signing off saying 73 and so long which in my native fist always translates to da 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 da